If you're getting your GMAT prep started and you're thinking about taking a diagnostic test to figure out where you're beginning in each section and how to optimize your prep, then you're definitely thinking about that process in the right way. The problem is it's tempting to take these score estimators that a lot of companies put out because they're easier and faster than an official practice exam. And that seems like it's going to be really convenient and really efficient as you're starting because you kind of want to get the ball rolling and just start the study process. But it's really, really important to avoid those score estimators and instead always take an official practice test from MBA.com as your initial baseline diagnostic. Those score estimators are just not a good enough simulation of the real scoring algorithm. They don't use official GMAT questions and they don't use the real algorithm. At best, it's a close simulation, but not the real thing. When you start your prep like that, you're choosing a lot of inefficiency from the beginning and you're building the house of your GMAT prep on a not so great foundation. It would kind of be like if I asked you for directions to New York City with a fuzzy or unknown starting destination, such as I'm starting in Kansas. Okay, well, that's helpful for optimizing a route to New York City, but where exactly in Kansas? Because there might be some back roads or some highways that might be faster or slower, depending on where in the state you're beginning. So you want the highest quality starting data you can possibly get so that you can optimize your prep as efficiently as it can possibly be optimized. If you have questions about how to start or how to reboot your prep, if you're struggling, reach out to us anytime, shoot us a DM, and we'll be happy to advise.